Welcome to another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe for more. This is the proof to theorem four that all angles in any triangle must add up to 180 degrees. In each proof that we do, you have to list out what you're given, what you want to prove, any constructions to get you your proof, and then finally your proof. And you will see that those steps carry through all our proof videos and in class. So the first step in order to prove that the angles in any triangle add up to 180 degrees is to write down, first of all, what we are given. So we want to state what we are given and what we are given is basically a triangle. And I'm going to call it A, B and C. Now, again, I keep saying this to all, all the videos. You don't need to be too cautious about labeling them the exact same as me. I'm just going to call mine A, B, and C. You can call them X, Y, and Z, whatever you want to call them. So we're given the triangle A, B, C. So I'm stating what I'm given. So there's a few marks um, for just stating what you're given. Now we want to state what we want to prove based on the question. So what we want to prove. So to prove, I'm back up on my drawing here on my given part. I'm just going to label I have the angle 1 for A, I'm going to call it B2 and 3C. So it makes it a little bit easier. So what we want to say here is that our to prove is going to be that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so don't overcomplicate these, but the question said the angles in any triangle add up to 180 degrees. And that's what we want to prove. Okay, so that's what we're given. That's what we want to prove. And we've done our construction here is our next little step. And what I mean by constructions, it's just any little notes that we want to mark onto our picture within our given section. So what we want to construct, and I'm going to write it first. So we are going to construct a line. I'm going to call it L. That will go through. The point A, which will be parallel to the line CB. Okay, so what I mean by that is I'm going to draw a line L through A, so A is up here, I'm back up in my given part, I'm going to draw a line through A like that, that is parallel to CB. Okay, so that's all I'm doing in red, I'm making that parallel line and my next step within my construction anything that I do I'm going to mark in the angles 4 and 5 and I'm going to write them in on my diagram so I'm going to call this angle 4 and I'm going to call this angle 5 so I'm just labeling my picture so that's all I've done my constructions are I drew a line L which is going through A parallel to CB, and I've marked in angles 4 and angles 5. Okay, so our final step now is our actual proof. So now I want to get down to my proof. Now you need to go back in obviously to your notes and look at what the definition of a theorem and so on are. This video is just giving you the proof to the terms. So our proof. So what your proof will consist of is basically stating the obvious. You're going to state as much information about this diagram up here as you can. Now, one thing, that I, one thing that I'm going to state is that this angle, 3 and the angle 4, are equal because they're alternating. So remember from our previous days, alternating is that Z shape that they are going to equal each other. So 3 and 4 are going to alternate. And we'll also be hopefully see that the angle 2 and 5 are also alternating um, because there on the other side of the triangle. So that's the first thing you're going to state. So down here, I'm going to state that angle 3 is equal to angle 5. Sorry, 3 is equal to angle 4. And I need to state my reason. And the reason is because they are alternating. Okay. Again, remember the aim of the game here is that you have to show that angle 1, 2, and 3 add up to 180 degrees. So can't assume it, we have to prove it. Next thing I'm saying is angle two is equal to angle five. Angle two is equal to angle five because again, it is alternating. 
Okay, now we have one more thing to state. If we come back up to our picture, hopefully you can see that angle one, angle four, and angle five, they add up to 180 because they're on that straight line L. So that's the reasoning behind us drawing in that red line L. So we can have one, four, and five adding up to 180. So down here, I'm now gonna state in my proof that angle one plus angle four plus angle five is equal to 180. And our reasoning again behind that is that it is a straight line. Okay, so I need to state the reason for it. Okay, so that's as much information as we need. So we now come down and we want to look at, uh, we're gonna use this now. So if we think about it, we now know that angle one plus angle four plus angle five is equal to 180. Now, what we're trying to do is, we're trying to prove that angle one, three, and two also add up to 180. So what I'm gonna do down here is, I am going to let angle one plus angle two plus angle three equal to angle one, four, and five. Okay, because they're hopefully, the aim of the game is that they're 180. Now you will see that I will now say that, well, there's my angle one and my angle one, so they're equal. And I'll then come over here and I can see that angle four is equal to angle three because from up here they're alternating, they're equal. And I also know that angle uh, four, sorry, angle five and angle two are equal because they are also alternating. And we proved that they're alternating because we drew in that heart, that line uh, L. So we can say that the reasoning why they're equal is because of these three steps that we marked up here. And using substitution, we can now conclude, so using substitution, we can now say that angle one plus angle two plus angle three is equal to 180 degrees. Why? because this part is equal to 180 degrees, but it's also equal to one, two, and three. So that's our proof. So it's as subtle as that. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.